Hello and welcome to this 101 lab. In this lab we will talk about ARP poisoning. ARP stands for Address Resolution Protocol, which is a protocol connecting IP addresses to MAC addresses. ARP poisoning is one of the many techniques utilized in man-in-the-middle attacks. It is useful as it allows us to intercept traffic not intended for our attacking machine and potentially harvest credentials for various services. This lab leans heavily on the Network Sniffing Lab, which is Lab 17. Also for this lab we will be using Kali Linux and Metasploitable in a virtual machine. This lab will require a bit of setup to properly execute. First of all, identify the IP addresses and network interfaces of your Kali and Metasploitable VM instances by typing ifconfig in both of these VM's terminals. So let's do that right now. ifconfig for Kali and ifconfig for Metasploitable. Take note of the network interface name, the IP address, subnet mask, and most importantly, the hardware address, which is actually the MAC address. Alright, next start Wireshark on Kali by typing Wireshark into the terminal. Okay, let's do that. Now we will select the appropriate network interface. In my case it is ETH0, for you it might be something else, and we need to check that Wireshark is set to capture packets in promiscuous mode, which is right here. Alright. Now it's time to finally run our tool of choice, called BetterCap. To launch BetterCap, type the following command. We will need a new terminal tab. So BetterCap dash dash iFace and the name of your network interface, again for me, is ETH0. Now, as always, we want to familiarize ourselves with tool a bit by typing help. Okay, so you see that the command prompt changed. Now we're typing commands only for BetterCap and we're doing so in its own syntax. We also see that BetterCap has quite a lot of options and settings that we can turn on or off and a lot of modules that we can run against our targets. The module we are interested in is called arp.spoof. To see additional information about this module in particular, let's type help arp.spoof. So help arp spoof. And we get the options that we can set for this module in particular. Moment. The idea of an ARP poisoning attack is to fool both the victim and the router by telling the router that the victim's MAC address is our MAC address and telling the victim that the router's MAC address is our MAC address. With that in mind, depending on your router, you might or might not have to set the first parameter of the ARP spoof module to true. The first option is called full duplex and I do have to set it to true because my router, or rather this attack, would not work against my router if I didn't set it to true. Default is false. And you can see here, if the router has ARP spoofing protection in place, this will make the attack fail. Next we need to tell the tool who are we targeting with this setting. So set ARP.spoof.targets to the target of Metasploitable's IP address. Now we launch the attack by typing ARP.spoof on. Okay. Let's do that. Okay, and the attack started. Alright, so the attack is now running. To make sure our attack is working, type the following in both Kali and Metasploitable. ARP-A. So we'll type that again in a new terminal. ARP-A. And we see that as far as Kali is concerned, our default gateway or our router is on this MAC address, which is correct. So if we go over to Metasploitable and type the same. Now there is a reason why this doesn't work currently and that is because the ARP table of Metasploitable is still not populated. Metasploitable has no idea where is the default gateway. We can force it to populate the ARP list with the command route ARP-A and wait a little bit. Okay, so we have the output of this command. We see that as far as Metasploitable is concerned, the MAC address for router's IP address is different than the one in Kali. If we type ifconfig again, we will see that this is Kali's MAC address, the one that Metasploitable believes is attached to the router. To better understand what exactly is BetterCap doing, let's go to our Wireshark window and type ARP in the filter field. So we will go here and then type ARP, press enter. Scrolling for just a little bit shows us a wall of text with the following. So the wall of text is this, see, as much as I scroll, for, or for as long as I scroll, it has pretty much the same information. 
So that's what I mean by wall of text. And what does it say? It says that the IP address of Metasploitable is the MAC address of Kali. And the IP address of the router, its MAC address is also that of Kali. So this is basically what I said earlier. We're forcing the two of them to think that both of them are us. It goes on seemingly forever, and it will unless we stop BetterCap. What this means is that BetterCap is essentially spamming our network with ARP packets, basically screaming that the default gateway, 192.168.77.2, is on our Kali's MAC address, thus flooding the network with these packets, preventing legitimate ARP packets from traversing the network and providing correct ARP information. Sometimes, when we run ARP-A on Metasploitable, Metasploitable might actually have the correct MAC address for the default gateway. Because sometimes legitimate ARP packets will traverse the network, and at that specific time, Metasploitable's ARP table will be proper. We see that, again, that did not work, because we are really flooding it every second or so. So the target has to be quite lucky in order to have the correct MAC address for the default gateway's IP address. But it can happen. In other words, because of all this noise, the target, Metasploitable, cannot help but use Kali as the default gateway. And default gateways serve to route all network traffic from all machines on the subnet through them. That's why this attack is called ARP poisoning, as we're kind of pouring our own malicious packets into legitimate traffic, much like how poison spreads through blood. As always, while it may be tempting, do not use this attack on networks and targets you do not own or do not have explicit written permission to attack. And that brings us to the end of this lab.